Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to DigiDaily. It's your boy Zanda, and I have some amazing news that I cannot share. Isn't that awesome? Like, I'm officially a YouTuber now. I have, I have like, news I can't share yet. I got a super interesting email this morning. Let's just say within the next couple weeks slash maybe month, I don't know, I'm going to be uh, getting some real interesting mail. But you'll, you'll see when it happens. Uh, but I am very, very excited. So... Um, I said screw it, and I, I still draw rest, uh, Gatomon. Sorry I didn't do it on camera. Thank you very much, Airdramon. It was actually a Copymon code. Thankfully, someone mentioned, like, hey, you should, like, try it as a Copymon code. I didn't, I don't know why I didn't even think of that. Um, I should've, because, like, I don't know. You know, whenever I see an old-style code, I think, like, oh, they're gonna, like, like, a direct draw rest, because, like, the old-style system can do that. Uh, but no, it was a Copymon. So thank you very much to Airdramon for sending that, and thanks to, uh, to Speedtron for mentioning that, because uh, if he wouldn't have mentioned that, I would have just never did it, and I would have been kind of screwed, and like, you know, we have like a day, right, a day, yeah, um, for Magnet Andromon to hopefully evolve, I did all the battles and everything, so like, fingers are crossed, you know, I'm really, really hoping that we got enough, we did 25 this time, just to make absolutely sure that um he's gonna evolve just like just maximize that 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 chance of the evolution uh along with that we got a high win ratio and it was i believe a traded egg along with everything so we should be fine some bad news though uh, i mean i mean it had to happen but uh mallow my other month or venom my other month sorry uh ease no more sadly he did it's all right no big deal um you know we need the spot because the, the next hatch is coming up very, very soon, and I'm going to be running the same device because we will be doing a double bunny. Uh, we're, going do, we're going to be doing a Willis run, <laughs> both bunnies. Uh, I'm very excited to do this. It's going to be really cute. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot I have to talk about, so like I'm sorry if I'm like a little erratic. I just want to make sure I get to every single thing I want to talk about because there's a lot of cool stuff. So, first of all, Cinnabali saw uh, Digimon Last Kazuna and he actually liked it which like gives me a lot of hope because Cinnabali doesn't um, doesn't like try like at all I like try uh, but for him to like you know dislike try but really really like Kazuna that means a lot because he's um definitely one of the bigger people out there that voices their grievances on try and there's nothing wrong with that you don't have to like try it's not like it's like something you have to like and you're a terrible person if you don't like try but it is interesting to see, like, you know, if you're very critical on Try, then you're obviously going to be very critical on Kazuna, because it could fall into the same pitfalls. But he enjoyed it, so I am very, 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 very excited. Um, yeah. One last thing. And then I think this is it for news. So... You know, they we've all been waiting for news, and, and just, like anything uh on the pendulum z's and i remember i think i mentioned something along the lines of like maybe like there's been a delay in the um a delay in the manufacturing process and that's actually might be why they haven't shut it off yet well with the will thankfully pretty much confirmed that that's the case so bandai recently finally got some production samples that they liked so they're like got apparently this is not the first batch of production samples but they said this batch that they got they enjoyed they liked the colors so we got some like in-person you know natural not rendered photos of the devices they all look really good the green on the nature spirits one does still kind of look uh darker than i was expecting a lot darker actually than i was expecting which is a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. And all the other colors look pretty much like they're supposed to. So this means, and I think they did mention in that tweet, that this means that uh, we're probably going to be seeing some videos from Bandai of them showing off the different capabilities of this device, finally. Because, uh, you know... It's been a while, and we really haven't gotten much to go off of, which is, again, unbeknownst of them. It's something they really don't do often, but 
I don't know. It's just like, it was worrying, and I'm still a little worried that, uh, you know, they might be moving away from V-Pets, but maybe that's not the case. Maybe it's just the fact that they just, um, they just, uh, did not get the, um, any production samples in time. So, yeah. Hopefully, we will finally get a look at them extremely soon i also want to get a second look i hope they do it i don't know if they will but i really hope they get a second look or they do a second look on the digivice colon i i need to see that you know i i it's almost all but confirmed at this point that we're not gonna be getting any connection like it's not gonna connect anything which does kind of suck but like i still want to just just see it you know um but yeah i i think i'm like two episodes behind on adventure 2020 now i saw the episode with joe i really enjoyed it joe is such a cute character um he was easily my least favorite for a very long time until like incredibly recently uh with try actually uh, he always seemed like a stick in the mud but you know once you get older and you realize that one he's the oldest character so it's it's very easy you know, because he's like the oldest one, and he's got a lot of responsibilities, and he's got a lot of stuff on his plate because his parents really wanted him to become a doctor. They introduced that all very, you know, very nicely and kind of get it out of the way so that you kind of re understand his character early. So, you know, hopefully they don't make him too much of a stick in the mud. Um, but it was really cool, and I liked it. Uh, Gesomon looks so weird with his legs. I don't know. I always thought Gesomon was like... All of his appendages were like his hands, and they're not. He's got those two hands and then really weird noodly limbs, like little stubby little uh, limbs. It was very funny and cursed just watching him waddle around. I've never seen that. Like, it's just weird. He looks weird. It's funny. Um, I don't know. Very weird look at Gesomon. Uh, I think there are a couple other background Digimon that we've never seen before that showed up, and I really like it because like they're all in like the adventure style animation is very weird because like you know i'm so used to seeing a lot of these digimon in their v-pet form because you know the v-pet art is very like sketchy and like hard sh like there's a lot of hard shadows and stuff but then like an adventure it's very like cartoony uh and very um what's the word it's like cartoony along with like very bright colors not a lot of hard sh uh, shadows and shading on those um the way they animate them in the anime and 2020 still has that that kind of art style, so it's, it's kind of weird seeing them like this way. Like Cordjamon looks so weird. I don't know. This thing about him this is like weird without like the hard shadows and like the super buffness. Um, but I still like how it looks. Uh, and then again, like Gesomon, where he like he, you know I just don't remember ever seeing his legs, and then seeing his legs was just such a weird thing. Um, but again, I'm enjoying myself. Uh, I know that the episode after this, uh, not Joe, uh, Matt is gonna show back up. And Ty will meet Matt again, and it'll be really cool. Uh, so we're, we got pretty much everyone except for Kari and TK. I don't know when they're going to introduce them. Uh, just the way they introduced kind of the way that all the adventure protagonists partner Digimon work. I feel like they're still going to hold off and wait to add them until a bit later. They're probably going to be with this core team for a while. Maybe a couple more episodes. Maybe like up maybe in like the late 10s. Maybe like around episode 20. Well, actually, I don't know, because I think they confirmed that Adventure 2020 is only about 28 to 25 episodes. If I'm not mistaken, they did confirm it was a limited series. Like, it's not like an ongoing thing. Uh, it's only going to be like 25 episodes. It's unknown whether they're planning on making any more seasons after these initial 25 episodes. We'll see. Uh, I don't know if they're maybe adding more on to that because of the hiatus. Who knows? But if I'm not mistaken, I remember someone mentioning that it was going to be around 25 to 28 episodes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the Gashapon Digivices, they did come out. Midas did an unboxing a couple weeks ago. I think I did mention that, but just in case I didn't, he did an unboxing. But Lil Siri also did an unboxing. They're very interesting and a little disappointing. So the size, I think, is perfect. I wanted them to be cute little things. They're not anywhere near the actual size of the Digivices. They're very small, about the size of a v-pet like around around this big uh just about give me give me a shake i'm gonna drink some water it's 
excuse me. I had a um, headache earlier and I was so scared. I was like, oh my God, do I have COVID or something? Nah, just the fact that I was extremely dehydrated because I'm not drinking enough water. Um, so yeah, drink your water, everyone. Anyway, the they're, they're very small, which is cute and everything. The one thing that I'm disappointed in, it seems like that's kind of, uh, it's shared by everyone who's unboxed them so far. The LED in every single device is the same color. It's an orange. Orange makes sense on the base device because Ty is the main character. And it makes sense on the Ty version of the device. But on every single one, it's a little weird. They should have like just made it a white light or like a blue light. Uh, to make them all yellow is a little weird. I mean, they're really cheap little things. I feel like they wouldn't be too hard to open up and like mess with and like replace the LED if you really wanted to. Uh, sounds like a cute, fun little project that you could do. LEDs are very cheap and you can get them, you can get really bright ones for, again, super cheap. So, uh, it'd be a cute little thing that you could do if you wanted to. But, uh, it is disappointing that it is like that. Um, I wanted to finish this off. I know, I'm sorry for the rambly episode. Uh, I, I wanted it to be like a chill episode so I didn't like fight anyone's Digimon yet. I will be doing that tomorrow though. Um, because I just found out, I completely forgot about this, but I found out I still have the old version of Alpha Terminal on my phone. So I can still fight those old codes on my phone, but not on my PC. So I can actually go back and fight some of those older codes that you guys sent that, you know, were kind of lost in translation because we moved to the new version of Alpha Terminal. I can fight them on my phone because my phone still has the older version. Thank God. So, in other news... I don't know if anyone plays Pokemon Go. I play Pokemon Go quite often, actually. Uh, pretty much, like, every day. And, you know, Go Fest was just this weekend, and I had, like, an absolute blast. It was so fun. The second day was my favorite, for sure. I loved the theme of it all. The fact that Team Go Rocket took over. The fact that we, like, you know, had to fight them and, like, get everything back. And, you know, you save Shadow Mewtwo. And Shadow Mewtwo, first of all... It's like the toughest looking Pokemon like ever. I mean, the new armor version is also really cool, but man, is that Shadow of Mewtwo super cool. He's got like, uh, he looks like he's going Super Saiyan 2. Like not only does he have like the shadow and the red eyes, but he's got this lightning kind of coming off of him. Like if he was like Super Saiyan 2, it's super cool. I really like it. I have Victini now, I love that. Um, I, I did not get as many shinies as I was hoping I was gonna get. Like you expect to get a lot of shinies during Go Fest. And um, from, like, at least my group of friends that play Pokemon Go, they all pretty much had pretty low shiny rates as well. But, I mean, I got some cool ones. Jess got a shiny unknown, which was, like, crazy. I got a shiny Woobot, which I thought was really cool. And the funniest thing about it is I didn't even know I caught it because I was using my Pokeball, my Pokeball Plus. And I was just, like, catching as much as I can or I could. And um, I checked, like, my recents and, like, there's a shiny <laughs> Woobat, like, right there. I was like, oh, crap. Um, you know... It was it was fun and I really had a lot of fun. I, if you did do Go Fest too, let me know how you guys did. Did you how many shinies did you guys get? Like did you get anything super cool? I'd like to know. I, I'm 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 just like I'm excited because I hope they do this like every year. Like the whole like buy a pass and do it remotely, it's perfect. Honestly, uh, it makes it more accessible and it really does kind of put the go in Pokemon Go. Like it really does feel like you know it was really cool. I liked it a lot. Um, I, I just, I don't know, I'm so happy. It's like super cool. Um, one thing I did notice the other day was uh, I pretty much have almost, if not all versions of Mewtwo that have been released in Pokemon Go, which is kind of nuts. Uh, I have EX Raid Mewtwo, that was my first Mewtwo. Uh, and that one knows Shadow Ball, which I'm super happy about. I have uh, Mewtwo when they first introduced him in the five star raids where he had those those weird moves like flamethrower and like ice beam I think I have a flamethrower and ice beam one uh, And then there is of course the armor Mewtwo which came out a couple times I only have the first round of him and then I have of course now shadow Mewtwo So I believe that's every release of Mewtwo. I have all of them, which is kind of cool um, never thought I'd even get one. I, I remember how happy we were when we did that EX raid. That was super cool. Um, I know they're supposed to be adding Regigigas into a EX raids. I'm not super excited about Regigigas as much as, like, you know, Deoxys. But, I mean, it's cool. So, maybe I'll do one, uh, if I ever get invited to one. EX raids are kind of a pain in the ass to get invited to. Um, 
But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of it for today. A long, kind of rambly episode, but there's a lot to talk about. So yeah, uh, fingers crossed that we'll get some more information on the Pendulum Zs extremely soon, since now they have like some production models that they they like and they would like to show off on camera. I think that was the biggest thing. I think maybe like there was something going on where uh, maybe they had to get it manufactured somewhere else and and or maybe they just it took a while to get like different versions of it off of the line to like inspect and see if it was good enough because you know you don't want to jump the gun on that because like that's a damn if you do damn if you don't situation where it's just like okay bandai shows off whatever they get the first run and it looks really crappy or it's super glitchy and then they show it off and like yeah this is the gameplay the first look at the pendulum z and it's glitchy and it's barely working and it looks like crap no one's gonna want to pre-order that then again since there's not a lot of videos and stuff on the device, people might not want to pre-order it. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, but hopefully the second wave of Pendulum Zs, if it does still happen, they'll have a bit more time to kind of show off and whatnot. Um, and also we'll have the Wave 1 to have as a point of reference. Uh, kind of happened with the X1 too, where, the, you know, there wasn't much on it once it came out, the X the X2 was like everyone procured it and then the X3 was like immediately after so yeah fingers crossed um but I'm gonna go thank you guys so much for watching sorry if I'm a little erratic uh I'm just like stupid excited for like this thing that will hopefully be coming soon um down the pipe it's like it's it's a, it's some pretty exciting stuff uh and that's really all I can say about it really um but yeah I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Huge shout out to my patrons, Casey Joes, Omega Scourge. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, for watching, and being a patron. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, specifically, watching right now because you're watching at a time where most people have already clicked off. And I really appreciate the fact that you watched all the way to the end. It really does make me happy. And it really does help the channel. I'm going to go. Let me know how you guys are doing in your hatches, how you guys, if you're in the tournament, how you did. I think the tournament did end already. It was a pretty quick tournament. Um, so yeah, let me know how you guys did. And I'm going to get out of here because I got to edit. And I have to work in the morning, which really sucks. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll sit. Bye. Peace.